All right, let's just do something simple. I'm Danny Gum, and I am the Managing Director for Knox Partnership for Arts and Culture. The majority of the time, what I'm trying to do is find affordable, quality entertainment for this community and the surrounding communities to come and see. Susan Woodward Peck. This is the great, great <laughs> granddaughter of Ebenezer Woodward, who originally built this facility. What are you doing here today? Well, I left home at 11 o'clock yesterday morning. Yeah. Well, I have been on cloud nine ever since I left home to see this. I have been keeping up with all the pictures <laughs> off the internet. I have, um, Linda Gill continuously sends me things out of the newspaper and I have prayed for this day for many a year. The last time I was here was uh, three years ago, and before that was 2009. I was here at 17 with a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this has been a tremendous day for me. I have researched my family for the last two years. Ebenezer came here at the age of 14 with his family. He was one of 12 kids. I know he uh, bought the block, I think from the Stubbs family. It's my great-grandfather, and I'm, as far as I know, I'm the last surviving uh, member of the family because I wanted to see this back in its heyday. So there it is. That's when I was here in 2002. Oh, this is fantastic. I mean, you, 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 it's not just bringing something like this. It's bringing herself that's more impressive than a newspaper clipping. But I do love the newspaper clipping as well. I have brought a picture of my paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the wallpaper was reproduced from the original wallpaper that was in here. Every color of paint has been reproduced from the original paint. This is the way it should have been always. It's beautiful. You walked in here and you saw the chandelier. One thing I'd been wanting to see since I was 17, I want to know the history of my family. I dig and dig for generations learn all the kids' names. And after you dig into their lives, you do know them. I'm a very emotional person. My kids will tell you that. My father died when I was nine. I didn't know any of his family. I didn't get to meet my grandparents or my great-grandparents. So you knew she was gonna come today and you have something mm -hmm. planned tonight. You don't have to tell me what it is, but because she's right here, right? Mm -hmm. What, um, why, why do something special? She's a Woodward. <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't for her, if it wasn't for her, uh, her family, this place wouldn't be here. Period. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't be having entertainment here. The community wouldn't be able to enjoy this theater if it wasn't for her family. It's a gorgeous <laughs> place. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're making me cry. <laughs> <laughs>